Hi everyone, this is Christopher James Lees, resident conductor of the Charlotte Symphony and principal conductor of the Charlotte Symphony Youth Orchestra program. And we hope that you all are staying safe and staying healthy, staying cool in the heat of the summer. As we reflect back on this momentous and significant year, uh, we wanted to share with you virtually um, our senior class from the Charlotte Symphony Youth Orchestra. They are a group of talented, focused, intellectually vibrant, and humanistically connected uh, men and women who are off to start their studies in the next stage of life. We weren't able to celebrate them as a group uh, and as a community, but we wanted to bring all of their many achievements to light uh, here on this platform. So to all of our seniors, the class of 2020, we say, Thank you, good luck, bon voyage, and stay safe. We're gonna start in our very first chair, the concertmaster chair. Surya Vassan played concertmaster for us this entire year, and she was great. She's been playing the violin for 11 years. She's graduating from Audrey Kell High School, and she's been in the CSYO program for seven years. Now, she has numerous talents, um, some of which even extend out into the culinary arts um, in cooking and baking and also sharing uh, her joy and her intensity and her great love of life with her friends and family. She'll be heading off to UNC Chapel Hill to study biology next year, adding to her brilliance uh, in a field that will surely utilize um, her great uh, rigor as the, the general of the orchestra, knowing that the lieutenant, the very first chair there, is a, such a trustworthy, consistent, wonderful, inspiring musician with great playing and great standards. The, no matter which rehearsal or performance we're in, it makes my job tremendously easy and makes it a real joy to um, conduct and to work with the whole orchestra. So I know that wherever she ends up, I hope she keeps playing and I know that she'll be absolutely spectacular um, in biology and, and at Chapel Hill and wherever she goes off after that. Um, but please enjoy this moment, peeking into the wonderful concert master of the year, Surya Vassan. Hi, I'm Surya Vassan and I'm a senior in CSYO. Next year, I'll be attending the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill and studying biology. I plan to continue orchestra while I'm there. My favorite part of CSYO has been all the friends I made. I first joined JYO in fourth grade and it was really nice to meet people who had a similar love for music. In five years, I hope to be continuing the violin and applying to graduate school as well. The next member in our senior showcase carousel is Amanda Airy. Amanda has been playing her viola for seven years and is graduating from Independence High School. She's an avid outdoors woman um, involved in dirt bikes and horseback riding and all the beautiful things that one can do outdoors. She has a lovely singing voice as well, which I could always tell was happening in the viola section, which is lovely. She's off to East Carolina University with, to get her Bachelor's of Science in Chemistry with an eye towards dental school and orthodonture. So there's um, a whole um, generation of people's smiles that will be invigorated by um, Amanda's work, both professionally and personally. She always brought joy to the rehearsals in CSYO, and she was always a major unifying force in the center of that viola section around which the spirits and energies of the section found an avenue and a connecting point uh, for release. And we know that Amanda will take that spirit with her to college and wherever she goes. We're very proud of her. Take care. Hi, my name is Amanda Airy, and I'm a senior at Independence High School this year. I'm really excited to go to East Carolina University this year. There I will play in their orchestra and earn my Bachelor's of Science degree in Chemistry to go into a school of dentistry and then hopefully orthodontics. So in five years, I will probably still be in college. I have enjoyed being in CSYO this past year so much and I would strongly recommend it to anyone. I think it's important to have friends within CSYO now so that later you can have connections within the music industry if that's something that you want to become really serious about. My favorite piece from CSYO was Nimrod from the Elgar Variations. 
Even though it was very slow, it was still very pretty and moving to me. Music means so much to me because it can bring out emotions that you never knew you had and it can tell a really good story. The next in our senior showcase is Audrey Lynn. She's been playing violin for 10 years and she's graduating from Audrey Kell High School. She's been in the CSYO program four years and um, has a great intensity about her that off the stage manifests in so many different ways, whether that be traveling or hiking or cooking or playing with friends or um, bringing her great intensity to her relationships. She's headed off to UNC Chapel Hill in the fall to study business and maybe other things because she's a very high achiever. She's been an anchor player in the first violin section um, with me the last two years. And she has been just a force that has helped stabilize everything around her. Um, she was always a great spirit and beneath her quiet exterior belied an incredible intensity focus and integrity that I know will make wherever she goes that much better as a result of her being there. So um, I know she's gonna have a great, wonderful life uh, from here. And here's Audrey. Hi, my name is Audrey Lynn and I'm a senior this year. Uh, my plans for next year are, I'm going to be attending UNC Chapel Hill and I will be majoring in business. Um, my favorite part of being in CSYO for these like four or five years are probably um, getting to go to CSYO camp back when we used to stay at that college for like a week because it was fun because I got to spend time with my friends. Um, and then my favorite piece that I played in CSYO was probably the Scheherazade by Rimsky Korsakov. And I liked it because I thought the solo sounded really nice and then it was just a fun piece to play. Our second senior spotlight showcase is Holden Cannon. He's a trumpet player from Cuthbertson High School. He's been in the orchestra two years and um, he is also a basketball and ice cream enthusiast. Uh, he'll be heading off to the University of Utah to study music performance and psychology. It has been a really great pleasure making music with Holden these last two seasons. He was like a model citizen and a wonderful spirit having back there. And he always was uh, working through the many different transpositions that our poor brass section has to um, hula, you know, jump through the hoops of uh, every, every cycle. And uh, he was very, always very faithfully working out the transpositions. And he was always somebody I knew I could count on and could rely on. And I know that in Salt Lake City, where he's headed, and um, anywhere else that he's uh, lucky enough to have him play with them, that the sound and the spirit and the energy and the life of that ensemble will be brighter, more positive, more consistent, and more beautiful as a result of his participation. I know he's going to do great things out there, and I wish him all the best. Hey, everyone. Uh, my name is Holden Cannon. Uh, I'm a senior in CSYO. I play trumpet. Um, I've been in the orchestra for two years and I'm uh, a little bit sad to be missing my last season. Um, but I was asked to answer a few questions uh, for a video. Um, so the first one is, uh, what are my plans for next year? So next year I got uh, accepted into the University of Utah and plan on studying music and psychology. Uh, with plans to go to medical school eventually. Um, it seems far away, but it's, I have a lot of family out there and we go there every summer. So it's like a second home for me. Um, where do I see myself in five years and why are having friends in CSYO important? Um, it's, the music world is a small world. So I hope that I cross paths with a lot of my uh, musical friends, both from school and from the orchestra. Um, they've all been excellent people and good friends to have around. Um, my favorite piece that I played in CSYO was probably the Swan Lake theme or suite from last year. Um, it still sends chills down my spine thinking about when we played it joint on stage with the Charlotte Symphony. Um, the brass was just 
amazing. <laughs> and then uh, music means a lot to me. Um, it's just always sort of been there for me. And since we moved and it's just always, it's a very consistent um, thing in my life. So it's good to have. Thank you. Our next senior showcase is Matt Gimble. He's been playing the double bass for seven years and he's graduating from William Huff High School. He's been in the orchestra two years uh, with me and has been a stellar um, compatriot and teammate down there in the double bass clef, uh, holding up the entirety of the orchestra with those low resonant tones. He's headed off to UNC Chapel Hill uh, to study music, economics, global studies. His uh, interests are so diverse. He's got a lot of different options before him. And it's been a real joy making music with Matt. He always comes in prepared. He's always super reliable. He's always watching when he plays. And I know that when he's in the room, everything locks in tighter and tighter because of his rhythmic integrity, his artistry, and his contribution in music and spirit. We're gonna miss you, Matt. My name is Matt Gimbel, and I'm a senior in the Charlotte Symphony Youth Orchestra. Uh, and I play double bass. My plans for next year, I am planning on going to UNC Chapel Hill and I'm planning on double majoring in music and either economics or global studies. I'm not quite sure yet. My favorite part of being in CSYO has been working with Christopher Warren Green. He's a really cool conductor and he's so well-traveled and very interesting and a great teacher. So that's been an amazing experience for me. Um, my favorite piece of music in CSYO was definitely the Elgar that we just recently played at our last concert. That was really cool. It's so diverse and I like how Elgar made it about his friends, which I thought was a funny tidbit. And you could definitely see the characters of all the different friends in the piece. So I thought that was really interesting. And that is about me. The next senior celebration in our senior showcase is Nicholas Fox. Nick is graduating from Audrey Kell High School and has been playing bassoon for seven years. Uh, he is uh, heading off to Appalachian State University to study bassoon and we know that he'll make a great, beautiful impact in the musical world there in Boone and beyond. Um, when he's not um, trimming cane for his bassoon reeds or practicing, he is uh, playing uh, frisbee sports and hammocking and uh, doing bicycling. He was a really wonderful spirit to have in the group these last two years. And um, his tone, the beauty with which he was able to spin phrases um, out of the bassoon and then also to work so collaboratively with the podium was a real treat. We wish him well knowing he's going to do wonderful, wonderful, heartfelt, wholehearted things for the world. Good luck, Nick. My favorite part about being in the CSYO is being able to come together each week to both experience and create such incredible music. It's really inspiring to see everyone's commitment to the tours of music. Getting to know people and creating friends in the CSYO is extremely important to me because on top of everything else, I have one more thing to look forward to in each rehearsal. My favorite piece that we have played with the CSYO would have to be Gabriel Foy's Pelias et Melisande. It was written for a drama by a Belgian playwright, but it also tells an incredible story in each of the movements. I also think the bassoon part was just gorgeous. Our next senior showcase player is Nidhi Dupati. Uh, Nidhi's been playing the violin for seven years and is graduating from Pine Lake Preparatory School. She is an avid tennis player and a member of the robotics club at her school, which is so cool. And she'll be heading to Duke University to study economics and statistics. Um, Nidhi was always so reliable and so wonderful to see in rehearsals, she always came prepared and she was a really, really hard, diligent worker. 
uh, in the violin section, and she was always full of um, contribution and spirit to the people around her. Um, and we know that in whatever field she chooses, and we hope she keeps playing her violin, that she's going to do wonderful, wonderful things. Take care, Nidhi. Hi, I'm Nidhi, and I'm a senior in CSYO this year. My plans for next year are to go to Duke University and study economics and statistics. What I liked most about CSYO was just getting to learn different types of new music. And my plans for five years are to hopefully be in business school and still playing music as a hobby. The next senior in our CSYO Senior Showcase is Ricky Pazer. Ricky is graduating from J.M. Robinson High School and has been playing trumpet for six years. This was his first year in the Charlotte Symphony Youth Orchestra program, uh, and he was a delight to have around. He's headed to UNC Charlotte next year to study music performance, trumpet performance, and I know he'll have a great experience there. I always appreciated Ricky's spirit and energy. He was a terrific citizen of the group. I was always grateful, and, and all of us were grateful, the way he and his dad uh, helped us rearrange the chairs in the chapel at Park Road Baptist Church um, just about every week. And it showed his commitment and his heart, his generosity to the group and to others. Um, and that's what made him a great musician as well. I mean, what makes him a great musician as well. He's really thoughtful of the entirety of the musical picture, but he's also a really great trumpet player. Um, we will miss him, but we know that he will continue to brighten the skies here in the city of Charlotte. Hello, I'm Ricky Pacer, um, senior this year. Um, I'm just going to answer a few questions. The first question is, what are my plans for next year? My plans for next year are I'm going to attend UNC Charlotte uh, as a performance major. Second question is, where do I see myself in five years? Um, in five years, I hope to be part of a service band, a military band. Um, the last question is, why does music mean so much to me? Um, music means so much to me because there's nothing like it. Um, you can express so much through music. Um, just want to say thank you guys for the great season and keep it going. Our next senior showcase is Tiana Taylor. Tiana has been playing with us for two years and uh, is graduating from William Huff High School. She's been playing viola for seven and uh, she's just been a terrific, amazing, wonderful musician and um, collaborator in that front row of string players in the front of the orchestra. She's headed s north to Washington, D.C. at American University uh, to study music and biology, eventually going on to be Dr. Tiana Taylor, and we know that um, she has the heart and the industry and the work ethic and the focus to make a real big difference in the healing profession, whether that be with the viola or, or in the medical field. And uh, she's been a real joy to make music with, and I know she's gonna make a great difference wherever she goes. Hi, um, my plans for next year are to attend American University and double major in biology and music. I'm really keen on still having music in my life for the next four years at least. Not really sure what I wanna do after. In five years, I see myself maybe going to med school and studying to become a doctor. And then my favorite piece that we played in CSYO was the Wood Dove by Dvorak because it had a really cool part, it sounded really cool, and it had such a cool poem and story behind it. Thanks.
Our next senior showcase is Tiffany Zhao. She's graduating from uh, Cox Mill High School. She's been a violinist for eight years and she's been sitting, uh, in our last concert, she was on the outside fourth stand uh, first violin. And that's exactly where the majority of the first violin sound begins to project out into the hall and you hear the beautiful melodies and that beautiful, like rich, robust violin playing and Tiffany's sound and musicianship was a critical part of our violin success this year. Uh, she's heading to Vanderbilt University to study biology, uh, I'm sorry, to study biochemistry. Um, and she's an avid reader and a ballet dancer as well. Um, we wish Tiffany all the best and we will uh, look forward to seeing the ways in which she will positively contribute to the world uh, in a few years after she graduates. Hi, I'm Tiffany Zhao and I'm a senior at Cox Mill High School. Next year, I'll be attending Vanderbilt University where I'll be majoring in biochemistry. My favorite part of being in CSYO is being able to collaborate with all my section and the rest of the orchestra during each rehearsal. I enjoy the feeling of success I have when we're finally able to perform the piece we've all worked so hard on at concerts for families and friends. My favorite piece we played in CSYO is the Litz Hungarian Rhapsody. I especially like the first section because it is string heavy and dramatic and uh, it serves as a big contrast to the rest of the piece. In five years, I see myself um, either in pharmacy school or in um, or studying microbiology in graduate school. Um, I hope to become a scientific researcher studying uh, pharmaceutical science or my, uh, immunology in the future. Hi everyone, I'm excited to introduce our next senior showcase student. This is a violinist Vivek Akella. Vivek is graduating from Audrey Kell this year and is headed off to NC State in the fall. He's been playing violin for seven years, but he's been musically involved since he was four years old. Um, he enjoys working out and watching movies, and I always loved uh, rehearsals with Vivek because I could tell through his eyes how engaged and intense and specific and um, curious he was during rehearsal, no matter if I was conducting the violins or other uh, members of the orchestra, he was always engaged. Um, and because of that and his focus and the things that he brought so beautifully to the orchestra, we will miss him, but we know he's off to do great things. Hi, uh, my name is Vivek and I'm a part of CSYO. I will be attending NC State University next year and I would say the favorite part of CSYO is just learning new pieces with my section, just getting to know, you know, the music. And also, I would say working with the uh, CSO uh, conductor, uh, getting to know him, just like seeing him conduct the orchestra was very moving for me. And it really inspired me, I would say. Um, in five years, I would see myself uh, getting my bachelor's degree and hopefully either going to medical school or getting my master's degree in something. And, you know, music's been a part of my life for a while now. I've been playing an instrument ever since I was about four. And I come from a very musical, musical family. So, you know, it just comes from the family. And music's just one of the ways I'm able to express myself. It's Music just makes sense to me, you know. Um, I'm just really, I just love playing different types of music, listening to different types of music. It just really helps me emotionally. And it's just something I love doing. Um, having friends in CSYO is pretty important. Um, I came in, this was my first year in CSYO. So I didn't know that many people. And just getting to talk to different people, like learning about their musical journey and like how they came to CSYO was pretty cool. And just being able to like work with different people on some of the music that was challenging was also really helpful. So making friends was a huge deal. And also getting to know my stamp partner, what he was like, you know, that 
also played a huge role for me. Our last senior showcase student is Niharika Desai. She was a flute player in CSYO this year and has been playing since uh, for nine years. She is graduating from Marvin Ridge High School and is off to NC State University. And I have to read this to get the correct major. She's majoring in polymer and color chemistry with a concentration in medical textiles. Uh, Niharika, as you can hear, is a prime example of students who play music as a way of cross-training their intellectual and academic development. She's um, a keen intellect with a knowledge and understanding of large-scale structure and the interconnectedness between disciplines. Um, she always brought her very best to rehearsals and performances and uh, always had really observant insights into the music we were playing. We know that um, in her chosen field, she's going to go far and is going to be a force to be reckoned with. Hi, my name is Niharika Desai and I'm a senior at Marvin Ridge High School. Next year, I will be attending NC State University to study polymer and color chemistry with a concentration in medical sciences. My favorite piece that we played in CSYO was definitely the Elgar Variations. Um, I loved how each piece represented a different story and how they all come together to create something a wonderful piece. And each piece had its own tempo and own story behind it, which was really interesting to me, learning how music came about and also um, how Elgar directed and created the piece as well. Music has meant a lot to me over the years um, as, play, as being a flutist for over 10 years. It has contributed a lot to not only my musical but also intellectual development. It has taught me uh, patience, has taught me teamwork, and a lot of things that I don't, that can't be taught in a classroom setting, but I'm working as a whole. That concludes the end of our Senior Showcase students. We want to give uh, one more shout out to two of our students, Billy Welty, our violist, and Lisa Ince, for, uh, who plays clarinet, who are both graduating seniors, and uh, we wish them well as well. And a big thank you to all of our graduates. Um, this year would not have been possible without your energy and effort, such that it was, and we hope that even in these uh, term, turbulent times uh, that you feel celebrated and uplifted and that uh, your contributions this year have not gone unnoticed and have not gone unappreciated. We believe in you. We are grateful for the things that you brought to our world uh, and to the community and this shortened year. And we know that your continued um, dedication and contribution to the world of music and maybe the world through music and maybe the world in a, an area that's in no way related to music um, will not only bring you joy and happiness, but will be able to transfer that joy uh, to the many, many people who will be affected by the work that you do. So congratulations, class of 2020. Uh, stay in touch and keep on practicing.